What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. Welcome back to another one. We're at a TX2K23. We're here, day one, roll racing, we're in qualifying, then we're rolling into eliminations. Some of the baddest street cars on the planet right here in Texas. Let's get into it. Yeah, buddy. That was what we wanted. I knew you'd have a smile on your face. That was what we wanted. <laughs> oh, that was so worth it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see that slip. Oh, uh, yeah. Because okay. you were flying. It was good. It was nice. It was gentle. Like, we didn't, uh, didn't do too much, just enough. I had a feeling there was going to be some potentially late entries to the staging lanes after they closed. So that was pretty good position to just kind of hang out there and wait. We needed the data anyway, so that was good. Um, I wasn't intending on running it all the way out the back, but Don said, did the yellow STO go the same, or do we know, like, to the decimal? Or? That's right. He went 234. He went what? 234. 212.234. Okay. And I didn't know what. I, you know, I don't really know either, but I... Oh, we were still ahead. 212.83. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, they were 215.96, and we were, like, 0.1, so they're they're still ahead. So, we're, we're, so, so we're, we kept our three seat. You're number three? It wouldn't have mattered either way, but... Um, we needed to know if that was going to take that leave for the first and second. It took it. It took it. It just, it was right on the edge of feathering it a little bit. So I think we can just do a little bit of massaging and uh, um, make that, make that better yet. It's a good time. This car's fast. <laughs> so we're out here at TX2K. We've got Kratos behind us. Yes. Always love to see this thing. <laughs> we do too. One of, always one of the baddest cars on the property. Um, but yeah, give us give us a rundown. Uh, I, I know a lot of people will know this car, but uh, has anything changed on it since we last saw it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I would say we've just been doing continual refinement to the original uh, build layout. Um, just recently, we've we've been doing some tweaks on the converter, uh, the uh, torque converter combination in it. A um, little bit of suspension stuff. I think that's. Oh, it's on an air shifter now, um, where uh, somebody was apparently not doing that great of a job trying to shift the car out there as much before so we made a change on that it's not like much is going on no like no yeah. miles an hour. you know it was always so cool to, to keep it looking like a six-speed car inside like with the shifter kind of hidden the way it was like i think that was really neat you even saw a bunch of people commenting like it's a sequential it's a stick it's the, like no it's always been a turbo 400 um but it, we just tried to make it look not as turbo 400 sure. um but uh, it's got an m&m air shifter in it now um that ati provided to us um and uh, we're doing automated control over that through the ecu yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Kratos, uh, Nth Moto built car. I guess still the world's quickest and fastest Gen 5 Viper in the quarter mile. Still, um, nobody's outdone that yet. Six, 690 at 210. Number one qualifier here last year, actually, at 225. And we were the runner-up in the race event. And uh, so we're, we're out here trying it again kind of thing. Um, 88 mil yeah. turbo combination, Garrett turbochargers, uh, Motec TCU, our in-house complete build of everything, engine included. All the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So I know it, it went... Uh, very fast last year so to give people an idea we're going to see a little bit slower times this year because they shorten the race distance that's correct not because the car got slower it is a shorter track this year which we were advocates of that thinking also um it's it's a little long for stuff that's this fast it's just it's asking for kind of an issue um thankfully peter and staff and everybody listened to that so they shortened it 250 feet from what it was last year the way this race operates there's a non-fixed starting position in competition so and by my understanding i think that's about 300 feet of distance so now this race can be anywhere this year anywhere from i believe 1250 feet to 1550 feet at the maximum like depending on where you start well good luck out there and can't wait to go uh, see you go make some test hits and make some pass with this thing we'll try it out and see how we do okay man.
you get it off? From the white strip. No. They're sticky. That's a lot of power. Right? That's a lot of power. That's a shorter distance. Yes. That's a lot of power. <laughs> Damn. Tony, what's up, my man? What's going on, man? It's great to see you, man. We're out here, TX2K23. We Once got uh, the bad boy behind you here. How's it going, man? Pretty good so far. Last year we had Billy's car out here with the new setup, and uh, we only ended up getting one qualifying run. We had some transmission issues, so we didn't really get a chance to stretch its legs. Ended up in uh, the class below the Elite Eight, which the cars way too fast for us so rather than trying to compete in that class we just sent it for a pass and let it break out went 229 last year the track was a couple hundred feet longer than it is this year so we've had a couple races since then to kind of get the car sorted um, came out here today uh, or yesterday first pass it went 215 uh, went 221 on the next pass for number one qualifier and then first round of eliminations you know we were against a little bit slower car number one and number eight but you never know what the starts here. So I didn't want to send it out, not turn it up and, and it, it bite me. It was mostly in on the on the first elimination, uh, went 232. So that's good. And 1500 feet, pretty happy with that. <laughs> that's insane, man. I mean, yeah. think about it. It's a significant difference in length from last year. When you're out here looking at these cars, you see them all around, you see how fast they are. But there's not a normal car next to them to kind of have a the relationship of speed. Uh, any of these cars that are going 220 plus, I mean, it's a legitimate, 2700 plus horsepower to do that and to have a group of them doing it together it's just it's it's really tough to do it's cool to see people that are doing it so give us a quick a quick rundown like what so what engine size and turbos and like what's the deal with that so this car is almost uh, a, a, a roll race version of, of george's night fury uh it's our 4.3 liter billet engine it's got gt47 turbos or 80 millimeter that makes around 3200 horsepower all in how much boost does it take to uh, that pass was 87 pounds of boost. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, wanna, I usually ask, is there more in it? But man, that's, yeah. that's a lot uh, there, of There may be a little bit more, but <laughs> that's I'm, I'm going to leave it there for right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's enough to play for sure, man. Yeah. Just your average, you know, street car, yeah. GTR. <laughs> Nothing to see here. 
my windows, radio, still got all the, all the stuff inside. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, rad, I don't, man. I don't know if we've had this thing on scales, but I mean, there's really, you know, it's got carbon seats and smaller brakes. Actually, right. it's still got the factory size front brakes. It's not light, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I imagine the weight probably helps it a little bit. Seems to stay planted or no? <laughs> I mean, you know, weight's always the enemy as far as acceleration goes, right? Yeah. On a track like this with as much tire as we have, traction isn't really an issue for us. I mean, I'm, I'm basically putting it all down by third gear. George's car is almost a thousand pounds lighter than this. Oh yeah. Right, so put the same setup, assuming you have you have enough grip, which I think it would on this track. Wow. Uh, I mean, it'd be a rocket. Where are you hiding the the SpaceX, you know, rockets on this thing, dude? Inside here. <laughs> man, well, good luck out there, brother. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you after next round. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, this is gonna be fun. It is. Have you been doing well at around 65? Good luck, be careful. I'll tell Tricky you what. Ricky, be careful. Thank you very much. Good luck, buddy. My starts have been really suck. Okay, well it happens. But it's I've been not trying easy. to do 65. Okay, all right. And I'm not going to play no game. No, no, I know. Yeah, I, know I know you well enough to know that. Guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just want to make sure I've kind of got an idea. Of, uh, like, for the sound I've been listening to, not necessarily I'm going to try looking. to do it in 65. All right. That cool. is my goal. All right. Well, I'll be over on your right side, and I'll stay over there. You stay over there, and everybody's happy. <laughs> So game plan going into this? Um, we backed it down. I mean, we had a bunch of paint stuck on the tire from the burnout um, where they had us doing it. That's probably why the car was so upset, I think. But I can't really just assume that and hope that it goes okay because that car is going to do great. Um, so we backed it down and hopefully we didn't back it down too much. And uh, we'll try to have some fun. Awesome, man. Good luck out there. Thank you. What's up, brother? Oh, just uh, you know, now we get to prep for drag racing, apparently. So, yeah, so, yeah. so give us give us the rundown. How did how did it go uh, in, in car? We couldn't really tell too much from from the back, but how was the start? How the race go? So we we went up the first time for the first attempt at it, and Ricky was, I mean, he was getting pretty fast, pretty quick. We're supposed to target about 65. I got to 65 or 70, I think, and, and he was still way ahead and kind of going, and I just didn't go. So they uh, sent us back around to rerun again. Went up to rerun again, and um, you know, I, I guess you could say foolish me for the style of racing. Like it was close enough to the same kind of situation that had happened before. I was on anti lag um, and prepared like early into the cones, but between 62 to I can creep up to like 67 or something like that. Uh, I really didn't think they were going to green it just because I could see he was already kind of rolling. But I mean, it's it's that's kind of what happens in this racing sometimes, unfortunately. And uh, they did. So I uh, I reviewed the draggy video already. Like I don't I don't think it was that late on the light. I mean, a car a car that fast. He's just kind of a bummer because it would have been a really, really, really good race, and it, it wasn't really a good race, I guess, um, yeah. when you look at it that way. I'm not mad at Ricky or anything like that. It's it's just uh, kind of, you got to know that going into this kind of stuff that there's it's really hard to make it perfect, I guess. Um, sure. And if everybody stomped their feet and pouted and cried over the way it starts, like you'd, you'd be here all day probably. Sure. So not that different than street racing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys haven't dragged this, dra uh, drag race this car before at TX2K, right? That's correct, yeah. No, uh, so nope. you guys are going to prep for like, what class are you running? What's... Yeah, so we're running street car class, which there's some uber fast stuff in there. Oh yeah. Um, some really deep validated six second cars. This car has been sixes, um, but it's different in competition versus, you know, making 
your own hits. Um, we've made a good bit of changes since the uh, last time we ran a, a 690, which we've tried to just make the car more improved for consistency and get a little quicker. I do think we can go quicker, and I really hope, I, I'd really like to see the car run a 670. I think that'd be cool. It'd be cool to do it next to other fast stuff. Um, but you got Brad, you got um, Garrett or Cletus. You know, that thing looks fast. It's got SC <laughs> on the side of it. Um, uh, Jim with his car. Like, there's plenty of very strong cars in that. So we're really looking forward to that, especially with the class diversity. That's what's fun, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. We're most excited about seeing this thing drag race. So yeah, looking yeah. forward to it, man. And we'll catch up with you in a bit. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. Hi, brother. Got a lot. How are you? See you, man. Yeah, good to be here. So you're going into the next round here. Yes. You're going up against, uh, I think, UGR here. How you feeling? Man, I'm kind of nervous, not going to lie. Yeah. That, this is going to be the biggest race, and this is, uh, I'm going to really have to be on the game, you know. Been kind of slow on the lights, so I'm just really hoping I can uh, be there on the on the tree this time, because that's where it's going to be won or lost. Oh, yeah. And that, man, that 232 pass, Yeah. that must have felt gnarly, because you're, oh, you're a couple hundred feet short from last year, and yep. this thing's after it. It is, it is. It's it's fast, and yeah, no, and that, that, was, that was just moving on out. That's the fastest thing I've driven, obviously, and it's... It's it's crazy. Like the the G's that's pulling it at you know in the high gears and stuff. Still, it's 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 I, it's not something I'm used to. So quite it's, a ride, man. Yeah, it is. Quite a ride. All right, we'll be safe out there. Yes, sir. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you, man. Yes. Thank you. at it again it wasn't a clean start the first time they're gonna give it another shot I couldn't believe it. Oh my God. Damn. Oh. How do you feel right now, bro? That's so excited. That was it. That, the pressure's off. That's all I had to do this weekend was beat that car. And that's it. That's it. Guys, man. Good I, job, buddy. I'm so excited. I can't even. 237. Dude, dude that just blows my mind, too. I, I didn't. Every time we, we go faster, every time we go faster, I just, I, I keep thinking, that's it, man. I don't even know how we hit that number, and then we just go even faster. Yeah, man. Well, you did, you did an awesome job driving, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you.